I think out of all the friends I've ever met, which were Muslim, I probably can count how many people I've known in biggest marriage on one hand. And so, it, and in the Muslim world, it's again very, very uh, uncommon. Uh, and so, and so this is it, it. just seems to be focused on by the media. It's like, oh look, polygamy is allowed, and so on. That's horrific. But when it comes to having you know, one guy who's married has many mistresses, oh that's okay. He's living the life. That's you know freedom. So you know, there's no consistency there, and at least. Uh, with the woman who's getting married, uh, even in that case, she can specify that she doesn't want her husband marrying anyone else. On the contrary, and if he agrees to it, to get married to her, obviously, because she can choose who she gets married to. And if she wants to get married to that man, then uh, she has to abide by it. Who's that? Yeah. Sure. Um, well, I mean, there's many resources uh, available for people Muslim living in the West, um, and so on. And on, there's many online resources. And so, um, after this talk, if you want uh, me, ask my friends, as you know, quite a lot of different resources can actually help you out. So, giving a lot of interesting websites where these things are discussed, and so on. And different opinions are, are discussed, and different evidence and strengths of so you can see which ones, you, uh, which is a uh, uh, more strong opinion to follow yourself. Um, so you said um, the Sharia focuses like on the redistribution of income, yes. etc. And so that's kind of similar to what we do in this country through welfare state, what we do through taxation. So is it correct to say that um, Sharia does approve the care? And if so, is it quite a strong assumption that people are going to be truthful and give the care in the right amount? And when the economy gets quite large, is that going to cause serious problems if people aren't in this? Sure. Okay. Um, the welfare state was very interesting. Welfare state came about um, many as uh, was brought from a socialist, or um, communist, or communist offshoot of uh, this ideology, and it was because um, pure liberalism or pure capitalism causes the kind of problems whereby you had a Victorian era, uh, very common all of the twists, all these kind of stories were written by Charles Dickens at that time. Mass poverty. They had to rely on, on the giving of, of churches, and alms houses. This just Private individuals who were wealthy being, you know, um, philanthropists to these people, giving, giving out their goods to their hearts, and no one was there to support them. And there was a worry uh, during Europe as well that there would be a communist takeover, or some socialist uprising from the war, uh, and even prior to that, also World War II also, you um, know, in expedited that. So they initiate welfare state system and the NHS system as, a, as a, and in some ways, yes, it's not this very similar. Some actually have the first one, the first welfare states, because. We had, we, from the treasury, money was given out to poor beggars and so on, both Muslim and non-Muslim as well. So if a non-Muslim can no longer um, obviously uh, pay the duty tax, and it's only on male non-Muslims, not on female non-Muslims, um, then if they could no longer pay, they were poor, they were infirm, sick, they uh, were exempt, and they were looked after by the state. But, and there was a time where Umar, uh, the second caliph and companion of Muhammad, so on, uh, a old Christian guy came to the them his begging bowl to his door, asked for some coins or whatever, and uh, almost was shocked. So how, could, how could it be that you know you were you know, basically you know paying the the, the digital tax, the, the contractual tax, uh, and your youth, and now you're just you know, now you're old and you're infirm and no one's looking after you? And he took him to the treasury, or the base of Mount in Arabic, and gave him what he needed until he was satisfied, and uh, you know he was he was sorted out with with, with an income so to, in his old, into his old age. Almost like a basic pension, essentially. So this is 1,400 years ago, as well. So yes, there is there is similarity, but there is differences as well, because um, in the Islamic system, uh, the basic commodities of uh, you know water, gas, electricity, and so on, um, and these would be not private commodities, be denied to be privatized, and they'll be allowed for public ownership, so that everyone is guaranteed. Uh, you know, energy, uh, food, clothing, shelter, and so on. These needs to be focused on, and all the needs like um, color screen TVs and the wide screen TVs and uh, you know, was it pleasant, pleasant TVs and so on, and uh, private jets and whatever. These are all luxuries, and this will be the free market will will be allowed to deal with this. You know, free market. You know, according to your strengths, weaknesses, business uh, men. But the the essentials will be 
distributed by the state to make sure that everyone gets the bare minimum required for, for to live as a human being, which is shelter, food, clothing, and so on. And the state will do this by various means, which is very detailed. Uh, on a board of the economics, but suffice to say, this is what, this is what the, the purpose of the Sunday economic system, which I've only given you a very scratchy surface of, is about dealing with how to get these basic needs to every single person. And after that, laissez-faire. It's laissez-faire economics with luxuries. After this, though. but if you want, we can talk about it afterwards in more detail. Sharia system, 
and we live peacefully, we, we, we live respectfully of that law system. We might not believe in the basis of it, but we can, it doesn't mean that we don't become respected, and Islam, Islam does tell us to respect it. So, so, but it's not enough. They want now to go into our minds and say, but you also must renounce part of your belief, which is political. And everything that's political, your belief system must be eliminated, and all that's only the spiritual aspects uh, are allowed. So basically, uh, one of these you know, modern day woody uh, Sufis, okay, but um, you know, classical Sufis were into politically active and, and in some cases were, were military generals. Bad. Yeah? And they say, and they use a new word because they can't say Islam is a problem uh, because obviously that just, that just shows that they're not, they're not tolerant. They invent a new word for what Islam is. That's, that's very unfortunate because a lot of non Muslims now are scared thinking that there is some kind of fascist type ideology out there to get them. And in some cases, they just think uh, it's fascist and it's, it's intolerant and it must be Islam. It's, it comes from Islam, so Islam is, it, itself is the problem that like EEO have done. And, and they're going to come hunt, hunting after us now, coming to our streets, trying, you know, attacking Muslims. One guy got stabbed by a bunch of uh, uh, thugs with his four year old daughter outside a mosque uh, you know, recently to death, right? And with Muslim slurs and so on. Um, I'm not even going to recount to you the amount, the amount of attacks that Muslims have faced. I, I, a guy from America, this is in America. Um, you know, his, uh, his, it's very unfortunate, his mother was, was killed by a bunch of um, thugs uh, who wrote, you know, Muslim B-I-T-C-H uh, on her forehead of her dead body in New York. Yeah. So this is the kind of intolerance that we're experiencing. And now the EO are, are, are al Mahajroon, which, are, 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 you know, they're a whole different kill of fish, so But al Mahajroon are banned. I, 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 like, uh, I might not agree with them, but they were banned, and they were violent, but EDL were allowed. You see? It's, and and as David Cameron saying, it's because, because we're not adopting the liberalist basis of the sort of society, whatever, that we're now somehow a threat, just because we don't adopt it. And that's the problem. And the way they use labels to demonize Muslims, that we that say the word caliphate. So that's, that's, some, that's some modern um, tr twist of Islam that doesn't exist in the whole authentic Islam. <laughs> Good authentic Islam that are non-political and non-violent and whatever. Uh, and I said, well, look, 1,400 years of history <laughs> testify to the, the Ottoman, the Abbasid, the Umayyad, the, and the, the Caliphates. Are they Islamists too? Is the Prophet Muhammad Sallam, in his narration talked about the Caliphate? He said that you know there will be a Caliphate after me, or uh, you know, um, pledge allegiance to them and follow them in the good, whatever. He is the Prophet Muhammad an Islamist, and if he is, then is not his religion and everyone that follows it. Just simply Muslim. Yeah. So this is the problem. It's labels and so on, and it, and, it, and it allows people not to understand each other. And I really wish that you know people could uh, could see that. Like, firstly, look, Sharia is not like what you say it is. But even if it was, we don't want to establish Sharia in the UK. We just want to live, co co you know, coexist in peace without you know, someone you know, stabbing my father or executing my mother or you know coming down and smashing up the shops. Which I, 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 uh, I try to, to have, like it happened in Birmingham. That's what I want to do. But unfortunately, it's not being like that. The politicians are now allowing this, uh, or, or, or kind of giving tacit support to it, it would seem, uh, by saying that we need muscular liberalism. Liberalism is too far being tolerant. Multiculturalism has failed. Where is its failure? Where is multiculturalism has failed? I don't see it. It's like we live together, yes. We work together, yes. We've got different cultures and different foods and so on, yes. Where is the failure? And they say, oh, but people aren't relating, there's no sort of community. People aren't relating. That's not our problem. That's a problem of individualism that comes from liberalism. It's not from us. We believe in community. We believe in, in, in speaking to your neighbors. We believe in, in helping strangers, um, being concerned over strangers, not just over ourselves only. So don't blame us when there's no community anymore and say it's because of multiculturalism. No, it's because of either your own system um, or the way you manage it, and don't blame onto us. So that's, that's the answer. And I, I wish I could give you a more positive and uplifting answer. But unfortunately, you know, that's the state of the politics today. And we really have to go out of our way now to try and tell as many uh, people who are not Muslims, and even Muslims as well, what a Sharia is and how Muslims are not a threat to the UK, but we are part and parcel of the UK, and all we want is to live in peace.